Hello and welcome to another video. I am Sam and this is Holly and we are part way through our van build. We've been doing um, a week long stretch on it at the minute and this one's going to be about the bed that we're building. So I haven't seen this design anywhere else before. Like the same sort of idea as in it's like a single bed and it pulls out into a double bed but this one we're going to put on draw sliders that are rated to 180 kg and we are that light. <laughs> we just have to stay that light. <laughs> yeah. It's like a little vlog, so hope you enjoy and hope you get fun out of it. Get fun out of it. <laughs> get fun out of it. See you in a minute. <laughs> we've started the bed frame. This is going to be the stationary bit. Uh, and we've just got to figure out where the draw sliders are going to go on it. But it's pretty stable. We've got an extra foot here. Uh, eventually we're going to put another one here, we've just got to make sure that we don't get in the way of the batteries. But yeah, pretty solid, pretty good. Legs are nice and thick, very light so we're not going to be burning too much fuel. Great. Right, so a little update on the bed, we've done quite a bit. Um, we've got all these slats just roughly in position and this is for the sliding part. On each bit that slides, uh, underneath each screw where it joined on we've got a washer and this is because it's on exactly the same level, otherwise it will be hitting too much and causing too much friction and not letting us actually close it. Um, and we're going to do the same for each slat. Uh, for the fixed slats, some of them we're bringing over further, that's why there's this big gap at the minute, this will all be closed off. But we had to have that space because we can't have it enough that way because of the curve of the van. And um, the idea is that the bed's just going to slide out, so we'll slide it out like this, keep going, keep going, and then we'll have a full size bed and to support it on this side the whole unit that's along here is just going to have its own legs built into it so when it goes over it sits and rests on it but it's pretty sturdy we're going to add a few more legs in in random places just to keep it extra sturdy for us, um, sturdy 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 so this is the last day of our little stretch and uh, finishing it off on the bed. Just sanding down those slats there just so they glide over each other a lot easier. Um, I'll show you how far I've got in a minute um, once I've secured them all down because that will look a lot better then and you'll actually see how it's going to work. Um, and yeah, last day, let's see how much we can get done. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So I've got all the slats secured down, uh, including the ones that slide and the ones that are fixed. On the sliding ones, as I said, I was going to put washers between each of them. As you can see from the clip, that's what uh, I did. Um, and then you should be able to see how it's going to function a bit more now, with the overhanging ones being extra support with some areas where we can get to the battery and also where we can store, but it slides pretty nicely. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd get a lot more done. Uh, guess I'm coming back on Monday. Just took a lot longer than I thought. A tool on me broke. I'll go through all it on Monday because I just want to go home at the minute. Um, so yeah, let's get to the next clip and I'll let you know everything that went wrong and went right. It wasn't all bad. Now we come to the Monday and after a great weekend, let's talk about what went wrong on Friday. So firstly I was just kneeling down and as you may have seen some, from some other clips I have these awesome trousers that I really like and I was kneeling down and they ripped completely down from my ass crack and uh, yeah now they're ruined so that was really annoying. Then whilst we were doing some pocket drills on the legs uh, the battery ran out. Uh, I kept on knowing that I needed to put on charge at the end but because we were tidying up and there was just so much else happening I just forgot to put on charge so that was me just being idiot and then to top it all off when I was doing some of the pocket drills on the back end um, the drill bit seized in the guide snapped around and yeah the tools broken drill bit seized in there haven't managed to get it out yet so 
yeah, we'll do that at some point. Um, that was annoying, so instead of that, L brackets, some with uh, two holes and some of these one ones, uh, one holes, just to get it done. Um, and so yeah, there's a mixture of pocket holes and L brackets holding down the bed, but it's very secure. This Monday, just tidying up a few things, uh, got the, well, let's show you. So that's done. Uh, now all we've got to do is put the mattress on. There's one thing I might do, but let's put the mattress on, grab Holly, see how comfy it is and uh, go from there. This, uh, this mattress was just off Amazon as a mattress foam, memory foam topper. Um, so it was 70 pounds-ish. Uh, it is quite like squidgy, so you can feel the slats through when it's fully out. So we might look at getting a different mattress, but for now, I mean, it'll do. The only time you can really feel the slats is when you sit up. Uh, for having it stored in the sofa configuration, it comes to the end there. And then this mattress folds up pretty much to the lip of there, so that's good. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, enough room there. I'm almost six foot, and cushions are going to take up this little gap here. Yeah, very pleased with it. Very, very pleased. Very happy. So it's been quite a while now from when we finished the bed frame, but the other night we stayed in the van and got to test out the bed. It was very easy to slide out, but the mattress just wasn't very comfortable. So we already planned on maybe getting a different mattress. So I think we're gonna go for that. And it's gonna be two parts. One part is going to be on the fixed bit and the other bit is gonna be the backrest when it's in couch mode and gonna be in the extra slidey out bit. But the actual sliding part of the bed worked really well and that was quite easy to do and with these two bits of mattress that should be even easier to do so there's still some improvements we may make to the bed frame so if you want to see those and you want to see some other videos that we're going to be kicking out uh, in the new year we're going to be doing some more entertaining videos so if you want to see those subscribe to us i uh, hope you enjoyed and have a good christmas and we'll see you in the next one bye